What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our SEC football channel. I'm going to review the spring game for the Vanderbilt Commodores and we're hoping to do this for every SEC team here on this channel. Uh, I will watch the games, evaluate the games, and uh, just kind of give you my take on the teams, what I learned from the spring, uh, what stood out to me, things like that. Uh, as with most of these teams, you've got injuries, you've got guys that didn't play in the spring game, and it's not a, a real game. Uh, I really didn't like how Vanderbilt did theirs. It was basically two-hand touch. Um, and so, I mean, I'd like to see some real tackling in there, but uh, it is what it is. Again, you can't learn a whole lot, but I think you can learn a lot about the quarterback position and more specifically Riley Neal. I was really, really impressed with Riley Neal. Uh, right out of the gates, he had a big pass to Kalijah Lipscomb. Uh, he was 8 for 12 during the game. What really stood out to me was his ability to get the ball out of his hands really quickly. He dropped back and that ball was gone. You saw some of the other quarterbacks in there. Uh, they were taking sacks. Uh, they were, were not getting rid of the ball nearly as fast as Riley Neal did. Uh, so that was what really stood out to me. You saw the big arm. He could throw it down the field um, with anyone in college football probably. Uh, he's a very has a very strong arm, made good decisions, made quick decisions. I was impressed. Uh, Mason has said that the quarterback battle will go all the way up until possibly the start of the college football season. You've got uh, Deuce Wallace in there as well. He did not play due to an injury. But I think it's over. Riley Neal has won this quarterback competition. I don't see how you could not put this guy on the field. Uh, I think he has a chance to be one of the better quarterbacks in the SEC. I mean, he, he has that kind of talent, and he has a lot of weapons around him. Uh, we talked about Kalijah Lipscomb a second ago. He is going to be one of the top receivers in the SEC. He's got Keyshawn Vaughn behind him to hand the ball to, one of the top two or three running backs in the SEC. Jared Pickney. One of the top two tight ends probably in the SEC. C.J. Bowler, also at wide receiver. Very talented player. There are just a lot of weapons. The skill position at Vanderbilt is loaded heading into 2019, and that's something you don't always necessarily say. Uh, so I think offensively this team has a chance to be really good. I think that he, Riley Neal will be the starter, and I think he's going to have a lot of success. And I think the Vanderbilt offense is going to be pretty tough to stop if they can get the offensive line figured out. And that's what I'm going to talk about next. In this game, it seemed like the defensive line was winning the battle with the against the offensive line. Is it because the defensive line is going to be that good? Is it because the offensive line is not going to be that good? That's the question there. I think they had some injuries, some guys moving around on that offensive line, so you didn't get to see it at full strength. But that is a little bit of an area of concern uh, when you look at this Vanderbilt team. That offensive line, they're going to have to play really well when they go up against teams like Georgia and Florida in the SEC East. So that's, uh, I think, that the only real concern for them offensively. Again, talked about the defensive line. I was impressed with the defensive line. They looked uh, very strong there. The secondary linebackers, not great. Uh, at times, they looked good. At times, they didn't. There were definitely some receivers getting open uh, in, in some of these passing routes. So, you know, they were okay there. I thought the receivers definitely won the battle with the secondary. And again, I thought the defensive line won the battle with the uh, offensive line. Didn't really see a whole lot out of the run game. And again, when it's basically two-hand touch, you can't. I, we know what we're going to get out of Keyshawn Vaughn. He's going to be one of the top running backs in the SEC, like I said. Uh, so I'm not really concerned about them in the run game. And again, you look at all the weapons that they have. Uh, Vanderbilt has a chance, again, to be a very, very good offense if the offensive line can play at a high level. And defensively, I don't think they're going to be one of the top half teams on defense, but I think they have a chance to be okay. You know, Derek Mason is a defensive-minded head coach. It was interesting last year. I thought the offense kind of outshined the defense. I think we're going to see that again this year. I think it's going to be the offense that really carries this team. Defensively, I think they'll, they'll be okay. I don't think they're going to be able to stop teams like Georgia and Florida. Uh, but if the defense can play well, maybe they'll have a chance to win some of these games in the SEC, perhaps against Ole Miss and Kentucky. You know, Maybe they can hang in there uh, and win a few games. I think, again, for Vanderbilt, you're not going to go to the SEC championship, but you'd like to try to get to a bowl game. They did it last year. I think they're capable of doing it again. It'll come down to some of those games, like I just said, Kentucky, Ole Miss, Tennessee will be a big game. Uh, but Vanderbilt, I think, has a chance to get there. 
with the weapons that they have on offense, uh, they have a chance to be a pretty good team. And if they were playing in the ACC uh, or the Pac-12, uh, I think this is an eight or nine win team. But the SEC is just really going to be tough this year. And that's the only problem for Vanderbilt. So I'd love to get your thoughts. Vanderbilt fans out there, what did you see in the spring game? What did you like? What did you not like? Uh, maybe I missed something. Uh, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports SEC Football Channel.